Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon uh, Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where today we're just gonna kind of keep going in order we're gonna do Samara's. The Ardo Yakshi, Samara's daughter Morin, suffers a rare genetic defect that allows her to destroy her partner's mind during sex. I feel like the writers in this game had a very particular kind of lady they liked. <laughs> Uh, Samara has a good lead on Morton's whereabouts and wants to end her daughter's career of serial sex murder. Somebody just got an undue amount of pleasure from writing that, honestly. I don't think... Let me just double check with Garrus. I don't... I think we went through all the new dialogue options. With, oh, we need to talk to Jack. What am I talking about? Talk with Jack. We talked with Jacob after his. Talked with Miranda. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know. Relax. I'm still trying to figure out how mm, to prepare same thing. for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. We could ease stress together. Bye. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. It is nice that he's much more relaxed now. She still runs like she's in armor. Um, I don't think there's anything new we could talk to Legion about right now. Shepard Commander, are you prepared That's right. to attack the yep. stronghold? Not yet. Acknowledged. That's uh, you can't talk to people if their mission's still outstanding. But we are going to go talk to. We talked to Kasumi after hers, and she didn't really have anything to say. And we're gonna go talk to Jack. We might as well make a run through and just check on Zaid and Grunt and everyone. Uh, sure, Zaid's right here. For some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm for some whatever reason, I'm more used to in Mass Effect Three, even though I've really only played Mass Effect Three like once. Although I did find on my when I was going through my playlist like a while, like a month ago on YouTube, apparently I did start. A second playthrough of my Shepherd, of this Canon Shepherd, on YouTube, and I have no recollection of that. I got like forty episodes into it. I have no recollection of that. I, I have. I'm just like, what? This mission takes me back. Yeah. Garbage compactor. <laughs> Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass palms. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Yeah. That's actually, like, Zaid's, like, you know, he takes into consideration the limitations of the people around him and is, like, not, like, harshly judging him just because he couldn't do what we do, you know? Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they send you. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. Okay. I should let you go. Talk more later. <laughs> Bye. We can't talk to Tally, because uh, she's got her mission outstanding. We can definitely chat with chat with Jack. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? Uh, Shepard was talking about the Ashley Caden choice, I'm pretty sure. I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let Aresh live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. <laughs> I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. <laughs> you did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thank 
Alex. Okay. Let's let's get back to work. Wee! Hey. You want to chat? Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Dang it. Come back later. I should go. Okay. Talk later. I feel like we have we could we could chat more, but maybe not. Because I feel like I have accidentally I've accidentally flirted with Jack as a woman, and she really she just puts the kibosh on that. She's like, "Don't talk to me," and you're like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> Like, I was trying to be Paragon, like, and I think that that just came off, it came off too strong or something, and, uh, and it was like, uh... Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. All right, my son. That's all for now. Shepard. Do, do well. <laughs> be good. <laughs> Grow strong. Be smart. Um, uh, fish should be fine for one more mission. Miranda Garris, Marathon, Jigsumi. Yep, everybody. All right. All right. Let's go. Do Samara. Samara's is like things, and that is, it is one of two uh, companion missions that does not require combat. And you only bring Samara with you. Just like in things. Whoa, Omega. Yikes. There's just so much to do in this system. Uh, I was just looking. Where's the other? There's another one. There's the other. I don't remember. That's not the recapture of the freighter isn't um isn't Firewalker. Firewalker's its own thing. Let's recapture the freighter. That might just be an assignment. Evil jellyfish of doom. Welcome back. See what Jack's outfit is. That is right. I kind of forgot how freaking uncomfortable looking that one is. That one at least gives her something under her, under the straps that are gonna rip her nipples off. Ugh. I'll keep her like that. The other outfit just legit, like it. Her her tattoos are legit. I really like them. It's just the straps thing. It looks so uncomfortable. Ugh, it gives me heebie-jeebies. Where are you? Samara! I'm bringing Legion for the walk around, I guess. Mm, sure. I might actually leave... Uh, I'm gonna leave her points until we get Reeve for her. That'll be good. Everyone should have... Yeah, 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 we're good. The daily death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. Perfect place to hide. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Ari and Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, also, I did want to check. I don't remember. Really fast, I'll just run down here. I don't remember if I bought everything from Omega that I can buy. Then again, I don't have a lot of money still. This is valuable. Now I have. Oh, nice! I did. I got the. Got the achievement for fully upgrading my weapon. Now I have no money, but the shotgun damage is is very nice for me. Come on, let me in. I get to go in all the time. Uh, 
don't know why Arya would just let me walk in, but I guess I'm pretty famous. I never know which pair of eyes to look at from the Batarians. Hi. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Hmm. She's a an yeah, okay. fugitive. I knew it. You haven't taken. I, I am a little surprised that she girl. doesn't. Pretty thing. I'm gonna take more Thanks action. For the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. I guess Arya is not really. She doesn't like protect people. She just protects her own power base, and as long as the Arda Yak, she doesn't threaten that. Um, she's not gonna care. But, like, Arya doesn't see it as her job to protect her people. The only reason she locked down the quarantine thing, too, is just to keep it from spreading, because she knows something like that would just would mess with her power base. And, uh, you can't rule if you don't have any people to rule, you know what I'm saying? No. You're a renegade mission. Bye. Supposed to be dead. I am supposed to be dead. But that's just a that just gives you renegade points and I'm not interested. Uh, let me double check double check the shops and just see if there is anything I want, even though I can't afford it. Everything here is everything uh, Omega left is just like armor additions that I don't care about. Isn't it? Yeah. Hi, don't mind me just walking in. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems well, to. Well, you care. do live on Omega. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Huh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her said her work was fresh. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Mornth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. It's really sad, honestly. I don't know, like, 
I maybe I'm just getting oh what is it Ugh, soft in my old age I don't know but I, I see you know like my younger sisters or a friend you know this could so easily be like you you know like me or, or you know, somebody that you know just like a shy driven you know quiet girl who's very creative and like you know is often the star of like you know certain like like a lot of like young adult stories or like web comics and stuff you know the shy girl who meets somebody you know like a shy talented girl who meets like some wild you know individual who like sees them for who they are you know and they feel seen for the first time in their life and usually it works out in the stories but sometimes in real life it does not and it's just really disheartening sometimes to hear about because you know that that kind of thing is something similar to this like that has happened in real life and it's like not similar but you know like somebody gets hurt after thinking they're seen or you know even the worst case scenario so i don't know it's just it's really sad this you know i don't know i i get sad i get sad during this vision <laughs> did neff hang out anywhere in particular she was always quiet working here at home then a few weeks ago she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. I'm sorry. And then also in that one, I see, like, you know, my own mom or, like, another mom, and it's just really sad. It's all just super duper sad. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. I wasn't sure. I think sometimes Samara says things. Neff made that. Gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I never part with it. Doesn't doesn't look like much. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. Read the oldest entry. Hey diary, cycle thirty four, orbit six seventy one. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then, the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. <sighs> Am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and... She's definitely not here. She's actually monogendered. When we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. See, it's really sad. It's like this girl thinks she's finally found somebody who sees her, and then she gets murdered. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Uh, Samara's eyes are mesmerizing. Uh, like, uh, whatever, the colors that they did with it, the way they, like, made it 
I don't know, her eyes are just so bright, and like the way they did the color and the patterning is just really mesmerizing. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. Yikes! She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. <laughs> hmm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. But, but I'm not an artist and I'm not isolated from my peers. I am beautiful, though. So. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup. I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, Why? delicate... Why? Trust me. Why do these women keep asking me to do subtle, delicate things? I am. I cannonball on a, ban on a battlefield. <laughs> Shepard is like freaking... What is it? Um... Oh my gosh, Kazumi, she's just like, you know, oh yeah, I need you to help me do a heist, which is subtle. And I'm like, why are you asking me? Freaking <laughs> Samara's like, I need you to try seducing a woman who spent the last 400 years seducing and murdering. Like, it's her job. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Legion's just like, this is fascinating. <laughs> oh, time to go to the VIP section. Which is over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do even have a dress. I, I do have a dress that I could wear for this. I think I, I think I put it on? I'm not 100% sure. Let me in. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What? What's the password? What do you want? Oh, dang! I didn't realize. I thought I had to do the <laughs> up, and then I would get the that we get the password. But here we go. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise: Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you. It's okay to defend yourself. 